I am Muhammad Khaliq and now we will learn how to find frequency distribution of uncropped data. You can visit mafi.com for more such topics. Now let's start finding frequency distribution of ungrouped data. This is our given ungrouped data. This is all our ungrouped data. Finding frequency distribution means finding lower class limit, upper class limit, class mark and frequency. For finding these four things, first of all we need to find these values. First of all, we will find number of values, means how many values are given in our ungrouped data. For that we will write formula count, C O U N T. Now select all the values. closer bracket enter we had total 60 values now we will find how many classes we need to find for this ungrouped data for that we will write formula that is famous in statistical theory 1 plus 3.3 into log of base n and now how many values are given that are 60 close the bracket enter according to this formula we need to find 6.86 classes but this is not well either we will make 6 classes or 7 classes so we will round it up R O U N D round up and as we do not want any value in decimal places so 0 close the bracket enter and now it had been found that we will make total seven classes over here now minimum value we need minimum value and maximum value to find range so that we could decide the class size so first of all minimum value m i n now select all the data and the min function will find the minimum value from all these values we will do it again ok now we have selected all the values and enter and 68 is the minimum value in this data now similarly we will find maximum value using max function m a x select all the values ok close the bracket enter now we can find range of the data range of data means maximum value minus minimum value now we can find class size class size is simply class size is simply found by total range divided by total number of classes so we do not want value in decimal places so we will round it up notice that we can write our formula here or here no problem it's same r o u n d u p round up now as we do not want any value after decimal point so we will write 0 close the bracket and now it had been found that our class size is 20 now we can start our work here lower class limit means uh, lower class limit means lower value in our class for first class our lower class limit is the minimum value that is 68 and as our as our class size is 20 so for lower class limit of next class we will add 20 in lower class limit of previous class plus class size that is 20 similarly for next class is equal to lower class limit of previous class plus class size
um, as we can notice that i22 remains same so in the next classes it will remain same so by selecting i22 and pressing f4 we can insert dollar sign with before i and 22 it will make sure that once we drag it downwards i22 remains i22 now we can find upper class limits by subtracting 1 from lower class limit of next class minus 1 Similarly, is equal to lower class limit of next class minus 1. Enter. Now we can drag it downward by bringing our pointer here, clicking left button of mouse and drag it downwards. We had made 7 classes as we had found earlier that number of classes is 7. These are our 7 classes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Now, class mark means lower class limit plus upper class limit divided by 2. This is our class mark. Similarly, other class marks can be found using the same formula and Excel has implemented that for us. Now, the most important thing that is frequency. Frequency means how many values lie between 68 and 87 in this data including 68 and 87 for that we will write formula is equal to c o u n t count ifs as we had multiple conditions now criteria range 1 means what is our data for applying the first condition that is our this data as this data will remain same throughout that's why we will select it press f4 and these dollar signs will make sure that it remains same now condition condition is here values should be greater than or equal to 68 greater than or equal to and this is our part of our syntax 68 comma now criteria range 2 means the data on which we will apply a second condition data is same so we can copy it from here control c control v ok now our second condition is it should be less than or equal to 87 less than or equal to 87 and sign and it's 87 so we will press here sorry we will not write 87 here here so we had selected the range write down the condition that less than or equal to and e6 means it should be less than the upper class limit it had been hidden because of our lengthy formula close the bracket enter over here e6 means 87 now we will drag it downwards and the formula will be applied on all the classes now we want to find that is all the values had been counted in our frequency distribution so let's find that sum we will sum find the sum of all the values if it is equal to our total values that is 60 then it means that our frequency is correct close the bracket enter so we had successfully found our frequency distribution of ungrouped data thank you